Hello guys, so for today we have a problem with the DG number 4 and it's having a reverse power and Nuisance reverse power and it's tripping the PCB just before we put it on load. So I assume that if it is a reverse power, there is something to do with the uh, governor. So we check the governor and we put the generator on manual and play the system and the governor is responding well. So I just want to check if the BCB has a problem. So I interchange or we interchange the BCB number 3 to BCB number 4 and see what will happen after we put the number 4 on load. After rocking out the PCB, we need to remove this jack cable and then the alarm will come and then we can now, we will open and see what is the condition of the mechanical sides and the relays inside the motors and the coil if it is still in good condition. So now we rack out the PCB and we need to remove the jack cable. Alarm will come. And we will open this. But before opening this, the spring should be discharged. In order for you to discharge this, you need to close the PCB. Now the spring is released. Okay. Now you can op now we can open the front panel. The reason why we released the the spring charge is because we don't want to open the front panel and then we are not sure if the spring is broken. So if we remove the front panel it might hit us. So it is better to release the spring charge before opening the panel. So just a quick familiarization. These are the coils for opening and closing Y1 and Y9. And then you have the motor which has a brushes and a good shape of commutator. And then you have some limit switch switches in there. And then you have the relay. So one thing I noticed is this one is a little bit loose. Okay. And then I checked the resistance of the Y9. And it's 84.1 .1 ohms. So what we did is that the BCB in generator number 3. I put it in generator number 4. And we tried to put generator number 4 on load but what happened is that the alarm transferred so in so we can assume or we can conclude that there's nothing wrong on the control system of the generator instead it is coming from the VCB itself so we want to test the limit switch the coils and the switches that actually what are the functions if they are functioning well in the BCB? So far, this is what we can check 
and we can send the report to the office if what we will find out during this checking so this is the wiring diagram for the bcb and let us focus on the um, closing and opening mechanic um, portion so this is the y1 which is for the opening circuit which is the coil and this is the y9 for the closing so the main focus here is let's check s1 i can measure some re resistance on the on the y1 but i am not sure if how much value should i be getting at and to verify that i just need to check first the s1 which is part of the cam switch and the wiring diagram for the cam switch is this one so the s1 is terminal 53 and 54 if it is manually open the vcb without connecting the jack cable if it is in closed position and then we will close the vcb and see if it is in open or closed position and if it responds well then we can assume that there is a problem on the y1 okay so now let us measure the s1 in open position so we need to open the system you need to wear uh, earplugs or earmuffs because this is very loud Spring is still charged and we will measure the S1. So to give you an idea about the cam switch, every time the VCB opens and closes, then the cam switch switch the function of each contacts. So different contacts, it has different functionalities. Then for the Y1, it was the S1 with terminal or contacts 53 and 54. And this is the S1. So I am checking the contacts that this S1 goes to the Y1 if it is functioning as per the wiring diagram. If it is normally open and normally closed during open state and closed state. So we have this handle. This handle can be used to manually charge the spring. And we can put it here. And we can start turning the handle and the spring will start charging. We can also charge the spring using the motor. And we need to connect this, this jack wire and then it will automatically charge the spring. But for now, we will charge it manually using this handle. So now I will try to close it. This one, if it will change. So we have a problem with this open coil. It keeps on, it is shorted already. That's why the system always in open position. Even if you put it on load and the VCB will should close, but since this is already shorted, so the open, the VCB keeps it in open position. So, we will find the spare of this one and then we will change it and then we will um, test it again so luckily we have this y1 coil and we just need to change and then we can try it again this time we will try it while 
the jack cable is connected and then the motor will keeps on charging that one and we will play it if it will close or it will open again So after changing the coil, as you can see, the VCB is now opening and closing without any problem and I tried to do it for several times and it's opening and closing properly. So that's it guys, after changing the coil, now as you can see it's closing and opening and the VCB is back to normal. And I hope you learned something from this video and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more easy updates. Thank you.